In this video, I'm going to show you how you can track your employee leave in Excel. I have previously done one where I did it by days, but now I've done it by hours. So you can give part days and, and see what your total hours are still. So now I'm going to click on the button, enter leave. And so let's say that employee two was sick on the first and the second. So we're going to go one and we're going to go um, one, two, two, zero, two, five. Okay, and so we're now we're going to enter leave. And so there you see that his sick is gone, is, is, is entered for these two days. The total is now, um, now changed because we're assuming eight hours for each day. If you're, in, um, you're doing this, you probably are doing more than one. So let's go clear form. So let's say that you're going to uh, give vacation to employee three. So we're going to select employee three. We're going to select vacation. We're going to start um, one five two zero two five, and then we're going to go one nine two zero two five, and then we are going to enter enter leave. So now you can see that he has lead from here to here. His hours have been adjusted. And so let's do the last one. And let's say that uh, employee, uh, employee five is going to take half a day off with no pay. So to enter uh, no pay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go employee five and we're gonna choose no pay and you're gonna go, um, let's say he took it off on the 6th so we'll go and we're going to put the same the same uh, date here and then he's only going to take uh, a few day a few hours off so let's put in three and so we're going to enter leave and so there you have three, and his total is down by three. So it's a part day that it allows. So let me show you how I did this. So this is all based off of the user form. The first two fields for the employee are combo box, combo box one, and the row source, if you scroll down to the bottom, I have um, row source equals employee. I've named the range where the employees are located and the type of leave is also a combo box and I have named the range where the where the type of leave is located. Alrighty and then so this is the text box so start text and this is the end end text and this is an hours and I just left that as text box two. So if I double click on the enter leave, this is where all the code is. Um, so I'm saying the name is whatever is in combo box one, and then it's searching for the name to find it the row number. Um, and the type of leave it's selecting from the combo box two, and that's the ones that's referencing my, my uh, range leave. Um, and now it's the start date. It's, uh, it's taking the date from the, from the text box and the start date is start text value. And the end date is end text value. It's searching for um, where the dates are located. So I have E5 to NF5, which is the whole year. Um, it's setting the cell to where, where it finds the start date. So that's start cell. And then it's determining the column from the start cell. And with sheet, then it's going to search for the end range. 
So it's searching for the end date here. And then it's the, um, the column is the um, CD is the column for the end. What it's doing is putting the leave value, so the uh, V for vacation, for example, in, this, in the start cell, and it's putting it in the end cell. Now, it's saying if end date is greater than start date, so that if it's more than one day, um, the difference is, is what we're doing, the difference in columns. So the end column minus the first column plus one. Um, L, L, N, E, X, T equals C. So that's the start column. And while the, the next column is less than the, the end date, it's, it's going to add the leave to each of the cells. If the end date equals the start date, and if the text box value is not blank, then the number of hours equals the text box value. Sheet 1 row C number equals values equals number of hours. Um, if the leave is vacation, then you're going to turn the back, the, change the background color to green. Um, Row number equals number of hours. So this is where you're this is where you're calculating the total hours that you have left in vacation. Um, if the next one, if the leave is um, is S, then you're changing the interior color to yellow, and you're recalculating um, the the total of your sick leave. So it's a sick leave minus the number of hours. Same thing. If the leave is no pay, then you're changing the interior color to blue and you're um, recalculating the number of hours of no pay. If, if, there is, if there's nothing in the hours, then you're gonna, the difference is one. So now what you're doing is you're calculating. So if there's nothing in the hours, then the difference is one. And now what you're doing is number of hours is difference times eight. So every day is worth eight hours. If, if leave is vacation, then it's recalculating once again your number of hours of vacation, sick same number of hours of sick and number of hours of no pay. I will include this code in the description of the video. It's very long, so I'll put as much code as I can put in the description of the video. Please subscribe.